Oh, you didn't start. Tropical grill. <laughs> hey guys, happy Saturday. Welcome back to our channel. Guys, we just had to get on here. Hubby was like, this is a perfect vloggable moment. So we was just in the car talking because um, we had some people reach out, you know, to learn more about um, real estate, specifically mobile home investing. And we just started talking, right? Um, yesterday was a full day for us. We wasn't trying to really have like a huge open house. One of our homes, the um, potential buyer was not qualified by the park, so we had to relist it and um, ended up having an open house that turned into a contract being, buddy, you want a pie? Oh, yes. Okay. Um, turned into a contract um, being obtained and um, literally like in minutes like we didn't realize that um it was gonna take a turn like that right so um you just have to be ready and so we <laughs> the many ups and downs of real estate yeah you just have to be ready because sometimes you know things may not always work out how you foresaw them like that person we were we're sure they would get approved and what it was, they just couldn't um, rent, and they were wanting to rent the home they were going to purchase from us, which is not allowed in that particular um, part where we work, where actually where our fix and flip is, actually. But this was another home there, so we just started talking, and babe was like, babe, you really need to turn the camera on, because this is stuff that, you know, it's a lockable moment. Like, a lot of people... I mean, I guess we can say maybe this is Car Talk Episode 1. Car Talk Episode 1. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people have no idea. They see the Facebook, Instagram post, the post on our business page and Facebook. And, you know, which I guess maybe it's on us a little bit for not really. I mean, we're transparent, but we mostly post, like, you know, the deals closing or, you know. But this is the thing. This is the thing I think everybody can understand. If you ask the right questions, you'll get the right answers. Mm. You know, the thing is, I think a lot of people, and when when I say this, you know, it, it can come off as offensive, but you got to be able to call a spade a spade, right? But a lot of people, which I'm I'm guilty of this as well. It happens when you first start out, uh, real estate, anything. But it's a it's a certain thing called the shiny object syndrome, right? That's basically you get easily distracted by something and it takes you off course of what you set out to do in the first place. And so, and what happens with that is a lot of times, like you said, people see the post and the post is most of the time a completed process of something that has taken place behind the scenes that we didn't post. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta take that in consideration when, when you, you know, don't just look at the post. That's why I tell people a lot of times, don't get caught, so caught up on social media that social media becomes your reality. That social media is, that's an opportunity to post whatever you want people to see. Some people post their whole life story and then get mad when somebody all in their business. Well, you post it on, on Facebook. So yeah. don't get mad, but if you, if we posted everything that takes place, I mean, a lot of people would, would reconsider and say, you know what, I don't think I want to do that. But because it's just the end result until you come and you start asking the right questions, you know, and then you start seeing like, okay, well, no matter what you do, I don't care what nobody say, no matter what you do, I don't care if you football, basketball, uh, nursing, medical field, a lawyer, what, what, no matter what you do, guess what it's going to require? Work. It's going to require energy. Word, 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 word. <laughs> it's going to require time. If you, That's why we tell people, like, it's not so much about financial freedom, but time freedom. Because if you free up your time, you free up enough of your time, you'll figure out some stuff to do. And you'll make things work for ah! you. So, man, I don't, I don't, when I post stuff, it's in celebration of a completed process. Something me and my wife have been going through. We not, we're not going to post everything that we go through on, on social media. We'll never do that. But just know, behind the scenes, we know different from the person that's watching this video now. That's right. No different from you. You can get up and do the same thing. It's just do you want to do it. And everything is possible. Everything like, is possible. If you have an obstacle, you can go around it. You can go through it. Mm -hmm. You can go over it. But... 
that's our mentality. I think a lot of people meet resistance and they quit. And, they quit. and that's the difference between true entrepreneurship because over the course of the businesses that we started, you know, real estate being our major one now, you know, we've done, you know, uh, catering, we've done lawn like a lawn care business together we've done kingdom custom designs which that's still very actively and passively um bringing in income for us and we've done what else babe what else we done, I mean, we done a lot <laughs> but um traveling oh music. traveling music um plant-based life my holistic nutrition the business lipstick. yeah Dang. i've done a lot of you know mary Kay. well that was before i met my husband i did mary Kay, but didn't even wear the product but i still sold the product <laughs> that's a whole nother story but it, it, it's just um you know we've done things both together and separately before we got married so that spirit i think of entrepreneurship was within us and we both if we needed something like, say, financial independence, I think that's what the path we've both been on. We just didn't, you know, realize it, right? Even before we got married, we were both wanting that sense of entrepreneurship, and we figured out a way to do it. So, you know, it's got to be, I can, I mean, honestly, it's got to be in you. It's got to be in you, and I think you can learn it and be successful, but a lot of people, they don't realize when it's not something that really beats in your heart, and it's a learned behavior. You can always, you have to unlearn to relearn, and sometimes that's one of the most challenging things to do, you know, so. If I be honest with you, if you really look at it from a different perspective, I believe everybody, everybody, got an ounce of entrepreneurship in them. The yeah. reason why I say that, watch this. Let a person get a job where they have to be there at 7 in the morning. They gonna go out their way to get up on time to be at that job at 7 a.m. I mean, it's, it's been proven. The reason why I attribute that to being an entrepreneur is because with entrepreneurship, it's all about details and routine, creating new habits, breaking old habits and creating new habits. A lot of people hear entrepreneur, and the first thing that makes them afraid is the security and, you know, not having a check on a steady basis, like having a job. You know, nothing is wrong with that. I, if you got a job, Leverage that job and use that job to level yourself up and let the job invest in your dream. Yeah. The problem is, I think a lot of times people, yeah, you work so hard, you grind, you put in the work, you know, I get it. And then when the weekend comes, you want to unwind. Everybody want to do that. But if you just discipline yourself just a little bit, it's going to come a time where you'll be able to go and do whatever you want to do when you want to do it. You know, and we speaking from, you know, from from experience. Because, and, and it's not to brag and boast, but it's to say, hey, if we could do it, you could do it. You know, and all it takes is just a little bit of work, dedication, and giving some stuff up. You're going to have to tell some family events, no. It hurt, you know, it don't feel good, but you're going to have to tell some certain people, no. You know what I'm saying? They might go, they start spreading stuff about your name, or they done change, they act different. No. You, you want to know something? Yeah, you're right, I changed. I grew up. And when you start growing up, there's a lot of things that don't matter to you that used to matter. It don't matter no more. So once you really get focused and get serious about your future and your kids' future, won't nobody be able to stop you from doing anything. I promise you that. Yeah. Yeah, so that's really the secret. <laughs> You know, you gotta. I, I was watching a um, reel on Instagram, and this person was saying how you know you can't say it's certain things even in your vocabulary, which I'm guilty of. You know, you have to eliminate, you know, using certain words. And he was saying every time you um, use the word spend, you set yourself back. It should always be that you use the word invest. I invested in this meal because I needed to eat to keep my 
energy up so I can continue running my business, right? I invested in this skincare to help keep me healthy and looking, you know, plump and, and, and succulent. Be having good skin, you know, so I can be presentable in my business or presentable in my family for my spouse. I'm pre but to be presentable for myself, you know, so it's, it's, replacing certain words with certain words to help build the type of mentality and behavior that you are wanting to uh, exude you know a lot of times people got to realize like you can't you can't um ever get the same effect from the photocopy as the original gives and so when you are when it's meant for you to operate in a certain business, be original in that. Like, it's nothing you can do to copy someone and get the same results. Everybody's going to have different challenges. You may be doing the same thing, but having different challenges. Like, my husband always uses this analogy. When you go to Walmart or Food Lion or Aldi or Whole Foods or Earth Fair or Publix, you're going to see a lot of bread. Everybody's grabbing bread but everybody has a different bread that they like. But the common denominator is bread, right? So just because you um, don't, uh, you know, do it or grab the same bread as someone else or do the same business, so it, maybe you are doing the same business, um, it's still different because it's you grabbing whatever piece of that business that you like like real estate for us has been a journey in itself from single family to commercial you know to um you know fix and flip to wholesaling land. to land and now mobile homes so it, it, don't be afraid to, to take the journey and then i wanted to say this don't be afraid to be in the same market don't ever look at um being in the same market as someone else's competition, I think definitely that's the trend we see here um, on the East Coast because a lot of people, they want to copy the results because they see you doing something, but they don't realize behind the scenes what all goes into it. And then they stop because they realize, man, you got to have some, some grit about you to do that. And then some people won't do it or they'll do it and instead of collaborate, they'll try to be competitors, which you'll never win doing that. You know, you... you we're all here it's enough money it's enough resources it's enough uh relationship connections and building for everyone the world is not short on that <laughs> at all but when you live in that poverty mindset you know that poor mindset um which poor the acronym i thought of this week and i've heard someone else say it but it came back to my mind was passing over opportunities repeatedly when you are poor mindset wise you're going to continue passing over opportunities because oh man i don't do it like them or i don't i don't you know i, I want you're gonna keep making excuses and you're gonna pass over opportunities repeatedly and you're gonna remain in the same state so we just wanted to do this quick little car talk vlog just to kind of help inspire and build people's confidence entrepreneurially even some of our youtubers you know we're not in the running to uh compete for subscribers all of our subscribers are organic i would rather have 200 organic than 1 million fake you know any day because i know that the support and the love is there and we don't do it for that anyway we do it because we enjoy sharing we enjoy having our children be able to look back one day and have something that they know their mom and dad did to make you know them proud they can really it's like our time capsule for them so to speak so yeah, you know, they were in the car with us yesterday when we were um, at the mobile homes. Buddy, and, you know, they were you wonderful. Ready, buddy. So, yeah. Yeah, guys. So, let us know, guys, if you want more car talk vlogs. And if so, what about? Leave it in the comments. We check our comments a lot. So, just let us know. We want to provide value provide fun and we're going to be starting a new channel um the mobile home couple just uh, so look out for that um well we just share things about you know real estate but specifically mo mobile homes because that's where we're transitioning to that i think that's where our, our seed will be mostly in that um right babe so um yeah anything else baby i'll leave everybody with this Take out entrepreneurship, that title. Take that, uh, take it completely out. And put in your mind that you are becoming a professional problem solver. The more problems you can solve. I love that. 
the more zeros will be on your check. Oh. Try me on that and see. I got I got a thousand dollars on it. If you try it, I guarantee you change your life. Go ahead. See, become become a problem solver, a professional see. problem solver. Solve somebody's problem, cash somebody's check. That's it. All right, guys. Have a Deuces. beautiful Saturday. Till next time.